Look at these pictures closely. These are shells of marine life under an electron microscope and they don't look healthy. That's because they're being eaten away by seawater. Seawater that's becoming acidic, nature out of balance. 15, 20 years ago, would we even have had a lab like this? Not at all. No, nobody was worried about it 15 to 20 years ago. Ken Siebens is the principal investigator for what's known around here as the OA lab, O for ocean, A for acidification. As burning fossil fuel adds more carbon dioxide to the atmosphere, some of that gas is absorbed into the world's oceans. Remember your old chemistry class. That CO2 causes the pH in the water to drop, becoming more acidic and more capable of eating away at those shells. And these are pretty sophisticated instruments. This is the, the, the best there is right now for measuring things like uh, carbon dioxide, um, uh, pH, uh, fluorometry for, for phytoplankton and uh, dissolved oxygen in the water. And then this, this one does conductivity, temperature, depth. These instruments will soon be deployed into Friday Harbor, one set near the surface, the other down some 70 feet. Local waters are considered a good place to test ocean acidification. It also turns out that the, the area we're living in here, the Salish Sea, Puget Sound, etc., is one of the more, uh, it's, it's one of the lower pH areas of the world. So this is our chemistry lab, and we built this specifically for the ocean acidification uh, research. Here, bottles with ocean water samples from around the world can be tested precisely. It all looks like water, but not all water is chemically the same. The change in our oceans is just that, change. And during the long history of our planet, environmental change drives some species extinct while allowing others to thrive and evolve. You know, and then what about the interactions between species? You know, if this species is growing a thinner shell, then predators can break it easier. You know, we now have our first little snapshots of, oh, well, this process affected negatively. This one is positive. This species doesn't seem to be affected. And, and it's just, a, it's, it's just a, a scratch on the surface at this point. If you wanted to go out there and predict what's gonna happen in the Salish Sea, it's not possible right now. We don't have those data. But this lab is designed to figure out just what those data points are. In Friday Harbor, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.